I am a huge fan of Scribble in iPad OS 14 and lots of the features in there. And I've created some other videos just on the like you know basics of using it, primarily within notes and some of the features. But I wanted to take this opportunity to have a look at Scribble within different apps and something that you might not have noticed, which is the bespoke tools that you get within Scribble, depending on the app that you're in. So let's jump into just a few of the Apple apps that come on your device and have a look at the different ways that Scribble works within those apps. Starting with Calendar, I'm going to jump into Calendar. And let's say that I'm going to start a new date. I can tap on the screen uh, with my Apple Pencil. It's going to allow me to create a new event. And then if I then write within any of those things, so uh, let's say the event is in London, uh, it's going to add that in, obviously checking for those different places. And it might be to meet Dave or whatever it might be. So it's going to do all your searching for you. But you'll notice at the bottom of the screen, we also have this uh, scribble kind of shortcuts element which, which appears. So this is the thing that differs depending on the app that you're in. Now, at this point, the options I have are that I can have the keyboard pop up, so I can easily just use that keyboard. Um, I can drop a line down, etc. Um, so just simple ways that you can use Scribble within Calendar. Now, bearing in mind what that looks like um, on Calendar, let's take a look at what that looks like in some of the other apps. So let's jump into Reminders. Now, Reminders we still have the option to use Scribble. So again, we'll see that we have that shortcuts bar. By the way, that can be moved to wherever you want it on your screen, much as the same way as the markup tools do. But you'll now notice that there's different tools that appear based on the application I'm using. So in this case, I have one that will allow me to set, um, you know, a, a specific day, uh, you know, of the week that I want this reminder to be done. So really, really quick and easy way to shortcut to those things. Um, add a location for those things. So again, these are the things that, that existed in the eye here, um, in the inspector, but it's just a really, really quick way to access them using Scribble. If I'm making a quick note using the pen, then why not sort of just jump straight in um, to add those elements in. Choose whether I want it to be of high importance and to notify me with the flagged um, icon tap to be able to take photos, add photos, or use that scan document idea. Really, really nice. That's kind of appearing a lot more across lots of the apps now where you can scan documents directly into something. And again, the keyboard, which we've seen before, where you can just um, you know utilize that and then obviously use the, the pen uh, pencil to do the typing. So that's what it looks like within Reminders. Final one to just quickly check out is what that looks like within Mail. So if I jump into Mail, I've got a new message started here. Um, and again, if I tap on the screen, you'll see along the bottom a different set of tools again. We can change the, the formatting, which is really, really nice. So I can you know write within this, and if I wanted to identify something as being more important, I might use a different color, etc. Uh, add photos. So again, just quick tap, grab photos that I might want to add in, or take a photo. Uh, go to my documents. So if I want to quickly add something from my iCloud Drive, but obviously any other uh, cloud-based storage that you have on your device as well. So that's really, really quick and really easy uh, to access. And then the scan document, again, highlighted before how useful that is to just use, um, but that's, that's built in again, so you can just quickly add those things. Um, and then if you want to, add a drawing directly in. So this is a really, really nice touch. It could be that I want to send something and it's uh, you know, a, a drawing of, of, or notes, handwritten notes or something, just built into the mail app, easy access. I'm in the middle of writing uh, an email to someone and I wanna say, you know, I've, I've got this plan for X, Y, or Z and I can you know, draw the picture or whatever it might be. Um, it's a straight in um, and then that's gonna be added into your email. So really, really nice touches of things to do. And of course, the final one, the keyboard again. So Scribble's not just in notes, it's not just something you can use then within Keynote, etc. cetera. Um, it also has additional functions if you explore them, depending on the app you're in, where Scribble is utilized. And I'm sure as other app developers pick up Scribble as something that they might want to include in their apps, 
these things may be something you want to look at that can change depending on the app you're in. So there we go. Give Scribble a try. It's a fantastic way to think differently about how you access information on your iPad. And as always, please leave some comments below if you've got ideas or thoughts. Um, press like if this has been of use and I hope to see you on the next video.